Hey hey, what's up everyone, Fluffy Armchair Admiral here with another video about Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Before we begin today's video I'd like to remind you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done that already and use that bell to make sure you won't miss out on any content from me. I would also like to encourage you to join my Discord server, where you can interact with me and other Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts fans, share some of your crazy designs, suggest a cool scenario or just chill. You can find link in the description down below this video. So, welcome back, uh, this time with another episode of Naval Academy series. Uh, it's, it's, it's been a while, uh, in fact I've, I've started this series with, with the first episode I kicked off um, quite a few weeks back and, and then I began uh, to, to do the scenarios that, that were submitted by, by you dear viewers. And I have to admit that there's so many of them that I barely have time to, to actually look into Naval Academy, which, which is a set of um, like um, developer-made scenarios. Um, so definitely we need to start looking into that. It's pretty much the only way that, uh, that users or that uh, players can, can actually progress through the game. Uh, is there any reward for this progression? No, not really. Uh, nothing except uh, pure satisfaction of, of completing those missions. So, uh, today we shall continue our efforts to eventually clear out uh, every single Naval Academy missions. So let me switch to the game window so that you can see what is my progress. And, well, yeah, it, it's not so impressive as you can see. Uh, we, we finished one mission and, and that's it, uh, we, we stopped. So today I'm hoping to, to change that. So let's jump into, into the game and let's see what is next in our menu. So today we are going to look at First Turret's USS Monitor mission, which uh, surprisingly you, you can say well, it seems like an easy mission, and, and yes, it, it, it was a hard mission from what I remember it uh, when I played it last time during, uh, was it, uh, yeah, lots of guns series. I, I can't remember which episode exactly, uh, but it's still on a playlist uh, available on my channel, and probably that playlist will pop up on top right corner of your screens right about now. So you can look for yourself. I think I covered both USS Monitor and CSS Virginia in one single video. However, I can't remember if that was the case. Anyway, uh, let's jump into this mission. Let's see what we can take. So, uh, defeat an enlarged CSS Virginia Ironclad. Fantastic. USS Monitor was an innovative ship of the Union Army, the first ship of its kind, having its guns in a rotating turret instead of a fixed broadside arrangement. Monitor's technology was later adopted and expanded in future warships, while its name Monitor was used to describe a special class of ships with disproportionately large guns that were used for bombarding shores during both world wars. In this mission, you may design an ironclad similar to USS Monitor and fight versus a ship larger and more powerful than CSS Virginia, its historical rival in the famous Battle of Hampton Roads. And yes, uh, basically this, uh, these two scenarios, first turrets USS Monitor and first casemates uh, CSS Virginia were created as a somewhat of a joke for 1st April, I think. Uh, at least they, sh they showed up in April's update um, and, and everyone thought, yeah, it's, it's a nice joke. And yeah, perhaps it is. And, and those ships, uh, even though outside of uh, the game, uh, like date boundaries, uh, they seem to perfectly fit within, within the game itself. So we will look into that in just a minute. Uh, another choice that players can make is what kind of bonus are we going to go for. So we can go for firepower, which gives us um, more powerful shells and explosives, uh, which probably means that uh, we will get access to some sort of propellants and, and perhaps uh, a little bit better guns in general. 
uh, we can go for armor, which will probably allow us to to uh, to equip some sort of better uh, armor plates than than normal steel or or iron, which which should be available at the very beginning, uh, because USS Monitor uh, is a ship that was uh, historically built before the game started, so. I wouldn't expect to have access to any sort of technology or uh, like a shipbuilding abilities except putting stuff on on top of the deck and adjusting like a displacement and, and engine power uh, which should be the top of our abilities and uh, finally we can go for a speed uh, and again we can get better engines better boilers and and uh, special machinery which will make our ship a little bit more agile uh, as much as it can. Uh, you will probably soon realize that uh, the ship that I'm going to build is, is not a speed demon. <laughs> and finally, we can go for more funds, which may or may not allow us to, to build two USS Monitor ships. So I will go with... Well, that's a good question. What I should go with? Uh, I'm really tempted to go with armor, uh, but firepower seems like a good idea. I, I could eventually go for it. Um, hmm. Well, definitely since I played this mission last time, uh, developers added some... Let's go for firepower. Uh, definitely since I played last time this mission, uh, developers added few other things to the game that might be a game changer, in fact. So when I played last time, fires were not that dangerous because there was no no risk of flash fires. Unfortunately, now that's not the case. Now we we are facing against um, a threat of uh, of a flash fire that that may happen. So let's let's put forward armor post, rear armor post. There we go. At both ends of of the ship. Uh, funnels. Uh, let's leave funnels for later. I first need to put my turret. And I would like to put double turret, in fact. Do I want to put one? Well, probably I won't be able to fit much more. Uh, in fact, I, I won't be able to, to put anything more. Wow, that is, that is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, I, I need to cut on armor. If I want to do anything, right, basic steam engine, coal fuel, yeah, natural boilers, yeah, seven knots, oh no, my goodness me, six, uh, uh, perhaps I could crack on the displacement, there we go, um, yeah, uh, I managed to, to increase the displacement a little bit, I would like to have maximum bulkheads though, so perhaps a little bit more of that displacement oh yeah we went no we don't ship it ship is overweight oh okay okay uh let's see yeah funnels i need one funnel so obviously the funnel will be a huge issue for our ship and it will create a huge dead zone um so we got one dead zone at the front where we can't basically shoot and now we uh, now we got to put another dead zone, which comes from the funnel end and all those related uh, to funnel systems. So I will put my funnel at the back, uh, which means that basically our ship has ability to shoot broadside. Um, we we can't shoot uh, straight ahead and we can't shoot straight to the front. Uh, how does yeah our engine efficiency looks good? Let's see if standard funnel will do well in fact standard funnel is also doing a good job and this one is much smaller and it creates a much smaller uh, like a dead zone for our gun yeah let's do it let's do it i like it right so as for a propellant as you probably noticed i took ballistic um, I could go for gun cotton, but uh, let's see, blah, 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 okay, yeah, 
Gun Cotton has that bad, nasty habit of having a um, detonation chance. While Ballistic is dangerous only when I'm set on fire. So I'm hoping that 12 inch guns that I installed, um, just bear in mind those are cannonballs, uh, like standard cannonballs, uh, they will be enough to, to punch through through the armor of, uh, of uh, CSS Virginia and eventually cause some damage. Uh, I need to adjust my armor values in various parts of the ship because obviously I, I would like to have some, some sort of protection at least. So I will reduce the turret armor to 6.8 inch at the expense of uh, of some belt and belt extended armor because obviously I, I don't want to get sunk uh, too, too soon. Uh, 6.8 inch turret uh, for a round object like this turret should be more than sufficient to protect me from any damage. So I'm hoping that this will be a good good setup to, to actually go through this mission. I will leave the name as, as it is. Uh, Wyoming seems to be appropriate name. Uh, so once more, uh, we got, uh, well, let's call it monitor. Okay, uh, I got convinced. <laughs> uh, let's call this bad boy monitor. And let's try again to, to finish this mission in, in a brand new patch uh, in Alpha 7.5, yeah? Uh, so it's going to be interesting when uh, when the flash fires are a thing, in fact. Uh, there There is a chance that, that I will actually lose this mission. And in fact, if you look at the game forums, this mission is flagged as one of the hardest missions uh, that are in the game at the moment. So that actually makes sense. Uh, it seems like uh, there must be something to it uh, that causes uh, the game to, to actually uh, become much harder for uh, for players that are trying to, to win this mission. Oh my goodness me, have you seen that accuracy? I mean, I would expect those shells going a little bit more in direction of uh, Princesa de Asturias. In fact, she's already identified that that is absolutely amazing. We started 0.6 kilometers away from um, from enemy ship and and immediately she is identified. Well, the problem is that my ship doesn't really have any sort of accuracy. So I'm waiting now for, for my 12 inch guns to reload. And I'm hoping that one and a half hours that I have to finish this mission will be sufficient to actually sink this bad boy. So enemy is getting closer to me, which is well, I'm not sure if that's something I I do like to see. Uh, I'm trying to avoid any maneuvering and see if, uh, if that is going to help me succeed. Enemy is clearly trying to circle around me, which might not be exactly something I, I do like. Uh, oh, partial penetration. Uh, yeah. Thankfully... And Enemy has a very small gun. Oh my goodness me. We scored a penetrating hit and immediately caused a flooding on Princesa de Asturias. Uh, we also started fire in, in one of uh, bottom compartments. So, wow. Massive amount of damage just from one hit. Uh, that's very good. That is very good. First try after, after I actually... Uh, started playing in a new patch and, and we've already caused a massive amount of damage to this ship. Just look at this. Wow. Like, she lost nearly 50% of, of her buoyancy and 4% and structure from just one hit. And as, as long as I'm not maneuvering, 
I'm actually having a quite large chance to hit her. Even though, uh, well, we still suffer from ladder aiming. Uh, because for some reason the game doesn't really uh, let us aim properly. Well, that's perhaps uh, because this ship doesn't really really have any any sort of aiming system. So as you can see, F uh, shots from from various uh, guns will go in in a very very different ways. Let's see what what our next shot will be. Yeah, that was very close. In fact. We got 65% chance to hit with our next shot. And ladder aiming is at 62%. Progress is plus 54. Which is very, very good. The problem is... That enemy gets dangerously close... Uh, to my ship. Which means that... Uh, she will start to penetrate my armor. Sooner or later. The question is... Do I want to go for a ram, for example? I don't think I do. So I would like to... Perhaps slow down a bit. If I could... Shoot one more time before... Before we will switch sides... That would eventually be very helpful. My ship almost stopped. I, I have to admit that my ship almost stopped. I will order to turn to starboard side to, to get into a parallel course with Princesa de Asturias. And hopefully my next shot will absolutely devastate her. She's pumping out water. Oh my goodness me, we caused the penetrating yeah, we, we penetrated through the armor, but we haven't done much damage. Uh, at the same time, uh, enemy is regularly uh, partially penetrating our armor, which, which is very dangerous, because sooner or later one of those shots will penetrate. And the question is how much damage it will cause. Uh, because I've seen the situations where... I've completely dominated enemy armor, or I completely dominated enemy uh, enemy ship, and one lucky shot put my entire ship down, and and that wasn't nice. That that was really bad, in fact. Anyway, I'm halfway through reloading. Uh, yeah, we are constantly getting there. Enemy is now on parallel course with me. And and we are slowly reloading our guns. Uh, we are speeding up, in fact. So I will order my ship to, to actually maintain course. In in the hopes uh, for, for a better result. We are 56... Well, we got 56%, 57% chance to hit. So I'm hoping... Oh... Well, we hit, but we scored only partial penetration. Not exactly something I would like to. But we are 66% in our progress of aiming. So I'm hoping that if enemy will keep or uh, if enemy will maintain a steady parallel course to me. Oh my goodness me, penetrations. That's, that's something I'm afraid of. Anyway, if enemy will maintain its course and, and it doesn't look like like enemy is planning to do so, uh, hence why I'm slowing down to uh, to eventually try uh, make my core uh, well make my course more parallel with with the enemy, and and so far I I seem to be doing quite a good job. Uh, we both do around four or five knots. Uh, which which keeps us on, on a perfectly parallel course uh, just 200 meters away from each other which is a perfect engagement distance for a cannonball and that means that we will regularly score some nice hits and I'm hoping that next hit or, or two 
will actually make a difference because that's something that we desperately need. On the other hand, I do hope that enemy won't... Okay, partial penetration. That That is not something I like. I, I was actually hoping that... Uh, that we will score a little bit better. I'm not going to lie. Perhaps it's because we are way too close to the enemy. Uh, but it might be something different. Anyway, we are 63% through the progress of aiming. Because enemy successfully pushed us away. Uh, forced our ship to, to actually turn. Which enemy still keeps doing. Uh... Like, Princesa de Austrias is still trying to cross our course. Which effectively results in us being pushed away from our course. And as soon as my captain decides to turn, uh, I'm losing some of my accuracy. So, I I really don't like this, this, uh, this part of the outcome. Enemy managed to, to pump out all the water, which which is not exactly what what I would like to. Uh, but well, it eventually happened. Right. I'm almost. Yeah, my guns are almost reloaded, so I am hoping that with this shot, I will do massive amount of damage. I got 77 percent. Oh, I caused fire, which is good. We did some damage, which is also good. I am happy with the results. That fire can turn into a very, very different outcome. Right, enemy is slowing down and it's... Yeah, and she is turning away. A little bit. Uh, now she's adjusting the course and she will probably try to turn into my uh, direction. As long as I'm keeping uh, broadside on to her, and as long as I'm forcing her to be broadside on to me, she can't use her large caliber 10 inch guns, which is uh, probably mounted at the bow or stern of, of the ship. Because that's where the main guns are uh, installed on, on like, uh, uh, Virginia. Was it, uh, VSS, yeah, VSS, Virginia, I think, yeah. Uh, so, for now, I am relatively safe, and, and only guns that enemy can use are those small 6-inch guns that can't really do much against my armor. The biggest problem for me is time. Uh, we, we spent quite a large chunk of time already, and we didn't really cause that much damage as I expected. And now we, we caused just partial penetration and and, and, and our shots ricochet from, uh, from enemy armor, which is perfectly angled. That is one, one of the good thing about uh, VSS uh, or uh, yeah, VSS Virginia, I think. Uh, or, or this kind of design. The, the top armor is, is quite well angled. Which uh, which makes a classic cannonball that that doesn't really have any penetrating value, except from pure force uh, that that would come from from the impact. Uh, those those cannonballs can't really like penetrate through angled armor, even even if it's uh, classic like an armor or or like uh, just general steel. Uh, like there there is no. No tip, no, no, like a uh, sharp, uh, sharp element of of that cannonball that can really punch through the armor and force the shell inside of uh, of enemy ship. Uh, so, uh, as long as uh, the impact force is is not large enough, or as long as uh, enemy uh, armor is angled uh, correctly, uh, it is really hard to to punch through it. Uh, we are fully locked though. Oh, and we scored another hit with with a flooding and, and we flooded rear compartments of enemy ships. Uh, obviously, uh, one of our shots completely missed, uh, went 
way above uh, CSS, uh, well, uh, CSS Virginia, oh my goodness me. Uh, I, I always keep forgetting those, uh, those uh, like, uh, prefixes. Uh, uh, seriously, I'm 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 so bad at at remembering those things. <laughs> so uh, please uh, please no no blame. Uh, I I'm really trying hard, but yeah, I I always keep forgetting that. I know that uh, that monitor had a, a USS, and I think it was uh, CSS or or VSS uh, Virginia. Was it CSS? Yeah, Confederate ship. Yeah. All right, yeah. So it was CSS Virginia uh, suffers from flooding. Her uh, two compartments, uh, rear two compartments, have been flooded, and again her uh, buoyancy went down to fifty nine percent. If we make it to score a penetrating hit uh, near the water surface with our next shot, we are very likely to put her down well i i don't know how did this happen that one of the shells went behind me and the other went into enemy ship providing how our guns are being mounted in that turret but i'll take it it's uh it's really hilarious how how the spread of uh, of the monitor guns work uh, it's it's actually hilarious uh, I, I'm not going to lie anyway I need to slow down to, to maintain a steady uh, parallel course to, to the enemy I, I don't want enemy to, to actually be able to turn into me uh, from the updates well Enemy shell caused fire, which is very dangerous occurrence to my ship, because I don't know how well my crews are going to be able to tackle such fire. I might be in a very, very big trouble right now, uh, because from what I remember, USS Monitor was very prone to fire, in fact. Uh, not historically, I mean, when I played last time. This thing was very sensitive to to fire and, and like fire spread like like there is no tomorrow like it's a forest that is completely dry and right now it seems like we managed to to keep the fire intact within one compartment that uh, that it uh, occurred and there is no more issues with it but. I believe that it might get worse so I'm hoping that there is no more enemy shots that that will cause fire and and there wasn't in fact which is lucky for us uh, so we can we can actually benefit from uh, from putting out the fire right enemy is pushing us again so I'm forced to adjust my course Unless I want to cross my uh, uh, my sailing course with the enemy, which which could be a way of doing things. The problem is that uh, as soon as we start to crossing each other, uh, enemy main guns will be able to to fire at me, and and that is something that I don't want to happen. I would like uh, enemy to to actually be forced to use only uh, his small caliber guns oh partial penetration that damage main gun this is a very dangerous thing okay we caused another flooding uh, which is very good this one is much much stronger than the previous one that is very very interesting enemy slowed down so so i am also forced to slow down uh, i'm really really trying hard to keep my course parallel and as you can see yeah enemy enemy's buoyancy went down to 37 percent engine is damaged that is very very interesting and enemy is still taking on water okay okay that is a 
very interesting development of of things once more enemy is trying to push on me uh, i will put my engine into standby because i don't want to uh, overtake the enemy again uh, i'm trying to avoid exposing myself to those high caliber guns uh, as much as i can so i can benefit from being a little bit more agile uh, than enemy is and i can benefit from being a little bit more flexible than enemy can be because i can use my main caliber guns to, to actually cause a massive damage uh, massive amount of damage to to the enemy even if it's not direct damage well fire damage yeah i can take it uh we we basically set two compartments on fire two of the flooded compartments now uh, the fire spreads there is three compartments on fire uh, which is again a good benefit uh, to us uh, we are pretty much stationary right now uh, both ships are basically not moving at all enemy is no longer flooding uh, but two of uh, of her compartments are still on fire uh, she is tackling it. Uh, she is uh, making progress in pumping out the water as well. Uh, so I will soon have to take actions against that uh, that progress. Right. I definitely have to speed up a little bit. Okay. The fire spreads rapidly uh, across uh, CSS Virginia, which is very good. I am hoping that my next shot will will deal some uh, some damage or or cause flooding again which will make uh, CSS Virginia's situation even worse than it is so far it is very very good we are doing great uh, maybe well maybe not the best one uh, of the progress oh okay penetration we destroyed case mate we we caused some raw damage but other than that nothing else happened right i need to slow down because i started to, to overtake the enemy and that's definitely not something i would like to do uh enemy speed is showing us 2.8 knots but i don't see it i definitely need to take a little bit more effort in in balancing the speed because i i definitely started to overtake the enemy Right, I'm down to 1.8 knots. Okay, I will slow down to 2. Or actually speed up to 2. Which seems to be uh, quite similar speed to, to enemy speed. How's my guns? They are, well, 2 thirds reloaded. That's good, that's good, that's good. Enemy successfully tackled fire so far. Uh, there are still 3 compartments that are... Uh, on fire but I'm hoping that my next shot will do a massive amount of damage uh, I think I managed to permanently uh, flood one of enemy's compartments which permanently reduced his maximum uh, buoyancy to 79% and yeah this shot was disappointing at most uh I was actually hoping for much, much better results. Right, let me speed time to uh, double speed. Uh, because it, it takes way, way too long to, to actually watch these two ships uh, fight with each other. Uh, fire spreads again across uh, CSS Virginia. Uh, like, she never put put out uh, the fire that, that we've started. And we've actually caused a massive amount of damage so far. Which is very good. Uh, she's still on fire. Uh, obviously, it, it didn't cost any any critical hits or, or something. Okay. We caused another fire. Which is... Well, very interesting, I'd say. Uh, structure points of uh, CSS Virginia went down to 38%. Uh, she is... 
still on fire. She she is successfully tackling uh, this fire though. Uh, thirty six percent, and there are still two compartments that are on fire. She she started to push harder on me, and and reduce the distance. Again, fire spread. Wow, yeah, fire keeps spreading across enemy ship, uh, and there doesn't seem to be an end to to such. Uh, we caused penetrating. Yeah, we penetrated through the armor. We caused uh, raw damage, uh, but nothing else. Uh, enemy is down to 30%, 29% structure. It is going down rapidly. Fire is spreading rapidly across enemy ship. Is that going to be the end? That is a good question. 25%? Well, that, that starts to develop interestingly 24% fire is definitely causing a massive amount of damage on, on enemy 23% is that going to be the end 22% okay we caused flooding in in the back section of uh, of the ship is it is it back or is it front section of the ship uh, so buoyancy went down to 37%. There is only one compartment on fire at the moment, is it? Yeah, it looks like. While the animation is showing on two compartments, uh, there is only one of them that is effectively on fire. Right. Enemy definitely reduced the distance to me. Is she going for a ram? It looks like. I definitely need to speed up. I, I don't want to cross course with, with the enemy. Yeah, we are very close to each other right now. Uh, about 100 meters away. I will set my speed to a head flank. If I have to, I will ram her. Oh, is it going to end up in a ram? It looks like. Well, my speed is dropping. Uh, it looks like enemy will successfully be able to, to fire their massive guns. Is it going to be a ram? Well, we caused flooding once more. Uh, two compartments are flooded. 18%, 16%. Come on. Oh, and, and enemy is not taking any water anymore. But, uh... Oh my goodness me. Right. Well, enemy can now benefit from... From the fact that I can't fire my guns. Oh my goodness me. Is that going to be the end? Oh, is that... Yeah. Oh. Oh, we were able to fire that. I am surprised, actually, because enemy is right in front of me. Right. We caused fire. Which is good. Uh, that is once more putting a huge issue on the enemy. Oh. And now we crashed. We are causing massive ram damage to, to the enemy. Uh, we definitely have the advantage. Oh my goodness me, this is so loud. Yeah. We are taking her down by ram. There we go. Success. Right, let, let's press OK to, to actually turn off the mission. Uh, fantastic. Well, so we succeeded. As you can see, uh, we, we took firepower. Uh, which was a pretty, pretty good idea to, to do so. And we managed to, to overcome enemy armor. Uh, was it so hard? Not really. It was very long mission. And when it comes to any sort of battle dynamics, well, it was not existent. All we had to do is to keep our course parallel. Uh, have enough armor to, to actually sustain uh, damage from uh, small caliber guns that are mounted on either uh, broadside of enemy ship uh, because uh, that's that's how CSS Virginia is built 
or CSS Virginia Hull is built in, in the game. Uh, so we could benefit from the fact that enemy couldn't actually use large caliber guns on us. And eventually, uh, while enemy is trying to circle around us, which is another game mechanics that, uh, that is a little bit broken and it's very, very much highlighted in USS Monitor and CSS Virginia mission, uh, where pretty much all you have to do is to stop. I will highlight it on, on the next video when I will be doing CSS Virginia. If my strategy from lots of guns is still working, uh, then you will see a very, very interesting battle where I will just stop my ship and let the guns do the work. And I can guarantee you that if enemy will still keep circling around me, I'm pretty much invincible in, in CSS Virginia. But you will see that in, in the next episode, if if that or if such episode will be aired. Uh, but until then, uh, that was USS Monitor mission. Uh, hopefully that, that is going to help some of you folks uh, who, who were struggling to, to finish this mission. As you can see, even with the flash fires in the game already, uh, even if uh, if there is a risk of, of catching fire, even if there is a, a huge extra element added to the game that, that is actually putting large and, and very powerful ships down with one single blow, uh, even from a smaller caliber guns, it is still possible to win this mission. And I managed to succeed for the first time, so that must be saying something. So try on your own, uh, it is very very nice and, and easy mission. Uh, it has plenty of time, 90 minutes, so yeah, I'll leave it to you. Anyway, uh, finally, if, if you would like to, to have a chat or if you would like to join my Discord, uh, you can do so by, by uh, clicking the link in the description down below the video. What you can do out there is to post a proposal of your scenario, uh, is to have some sort of influence on uh, on how various series related to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts will go. And because that's the only place where I'm taking any requests, submissions or uh, suggestions. So hop in uh, and, and have a chat. Uh, join, join the community that, uh, that I'm trying to, to build out there. Have fun. Uh, propose a scenarios, vote for the scenarios that, that will be uh, featured in uh, custom battle scenario series and, and generally have fun. Right, uh, and that's it from me. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you want to get informed about my new content, hit that notification bell button and don't forget to share your comments down below. Have a great day and see you all later. Latter. Out.